Hi, welcome to the uh, Digital Yacht How To video series and today's video is going to take you through configuring our new WL510 long range Wi-Fi adapter. Now the great thing about the WL510 is it doesn't need any special software or any uh, drivers or anything like that. You literally just connect it up to your uh, computer through a normal network cable and so whether you're using a PC with Windows, uh, Linux, a Mac with uh, OS X, it doesn't matter. The WL510 will work quite happily with that. You just need a internet browser like Google Chrome here um, to actually configure it all uh, through the internet browser. So I've run Chrome. Um, now it's struggling to find the Google homepage and that's because the WL510 at the moment is not connected to the internet um, but we'll be showing you how to do that in a second. Um, what I'm going to do though is type in here the IP address of the WL510 so that's 192.168.10.20 now that number is written on the label on the top of the WL510 so uh, don't worry if you can't remember it and I'm going to hit enter there it takes me to the login page of the WL510. Now I'm terrible at remembering numbers so what I uh, am going to do quickly now is just set up a bookmark. Now this will be the actual way of doing this can be slightly different depending on what browser you're using but if you just create a, a bookmark I'm going to call mine Digital Yacht WL510 because we're going to need to come back to this um, page every time we want to change to a new uh, hotspot or we'll go into a new marina. So let's click that. What it's done now is it's created a, a bookmark there. So I'll be able to click that next time I want to come back to the login page. So logging in, uh, the login details for all WL510s are WL510 <laughs> in the username and WL510 in the password. Not very imaginative, imaginative I know, but uh, uh, that's what the, the default values are. If you, um, I'm just going to say never store the passwords for this site. Now if you want to change the password, which uh, I'm sure a lot of you will want to do uh, to make it a bit more secure, you go to system and then where it's got the administrator, administrator username WL510, just click that icon next to it and then you can change the password in here. I'm, I'm not going to do that on on mine but if you want to do that just type it in and then click the the change button here and then uh, apply. Okay so that's the password. So you'll have noticed quite a few tabs along the top here and uh, system services advanced. I mean there's an, an awful lot of settings but we've pre-configured the WR510 with the what we consider to be the optimum settings for 90% of most people's uh, uses. Um, if you change something and you find you're getting a bit of a problem, you can always go to this page and do reset to defaults, um, and that will bring it back to um, our default uh, settings. But I'll take you through now today the the settings that are going to be of most use to you. Uh, there's only about three or four of them. Um, they're all in the wireless tab. So the wireless tab um, has the country code. So if you're sailing in Italy or France, just, just change this uh, to whichever country you're in. You've got a little tick box there, um, obey regulatory rules. Now this keeps you legal. So if you know different countries have different uh, rules and regulations about the amount of Wi-Fi power that you can use. And so by ticking this box here, you might not get the best range, but you will stay legal. Uh, unticking this gives you the option of then increasing the, the power here um, so right up to 28 dBs to get maximum range but I'm going to keep that ticked. So the country code, obey regulatory rules and the output power are the, th the only really the three settings that you need to, to change. Um, so you're in a marina um, you know they've got Wi-Fi, you want to scan to see where their uh, Wi-Fi hotspot is and you do that by clicking on the select button. That does a quick scan, in fact these are all the uh, Wi-Fi hotspots in my street. Um, they're all protected so there's no point connecting to any of them except the one that we've set up which is Digital Yacht. So I'm going to click on there to select it. I'm going to come down to select 
and it's now taken us back to the screen that we were on previously but it's put digital yacht in here it's recognized that my um, hotspot has got a password protected so I'm going to t type in here my password and then I'm going to click change and apply so you can back out at this point by clicking to discard or you can test the settings for here but I'm just going to click apply and what that does is it stores Digital Yacht as a hotspot that it knows and recognises with the password in its own memory. So next time I come back and I want to connect to Digital Yacht again, it will see it as a known network and will connect automatically to it, which is quite a nice little feature. And the same will be the case if you're staying in a marina, I don't know, down in Plymouth, and you come back to that marina, uh, it will remember the... Um, the SSID, the, the name of the Wi-Fi network and any password that might be needed. So with that we've connected to Digital Yacht. We can go back to the main tab which is the only other tab really that's, that's of interest to us because the main tab is like the status, it displays the status of the um, WR510. So we've got a signal strength here, we're sort of seeing 20 minus 25 minus 28 dBs. That's pretty good, I mean that's a very good signal strength. Um, a poor signal strength would be down in the sort of minus 75 to, well minus 85 most Wi-Fi um, uh, adapters will pack up and not and not connect at, uh, at those sort of low signal strengths. So we're, we're getting a, a good signal strength there. And now as soon as you're connected with the WL510 uh, to the hotspot you can start going online. So I can type in here www.google.co.uk and there we go, connected, we're online. And, uh, and that's really all of uh, the settings and the uh, configuration that you have to do with the WR510. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy using your WR510 long range Wi-Fi adapter. Thanks very much for listening. Bye.